Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Mr. You Know Who I Am. Um, I'm about to show you guys a little video on how to make a gel house wick. It's uh, little toilet paper pieces rolled up. You know, um, you can make them as long as you want or however, but uh, we'll get into that. I just wanted to uh, thank all my subscribers. I've reached over a thousand subscribers without you guys um, watching and commenting and uh, liking, sharing, things like that. Um, my channel wouldn't be where it's at right now. Um, so one of my like uh, um, one of my viewers had asked me to uh, make a wick, so um, I'm gonna do that. His name is his uh, YouTube name is Ray D underscore S C A L capital S Cal. You know what I mean? So um, uh, give him a like, comment, subscribe, um, check him out. Um, since I've reached my thousand subscribers or whatnot, I'm gonna make this video, um, especially for this gentleman right here, and um, hope you guys like it. Hey everybody, this is your Mister. You know who I am. Um, we're gonna get into making this wick. Um, you're gonna need a few items. Um, this is what they're gonna be. All right, guys, uh, you'll need some tissue, some speed stick, and your jailhouse lighter for this video. All right, everybody, this is Mr. You Know Who I Am. You already know, but <laughs> check it out. Uh, what you wanna do is get your tissue, get you a couple squares, just like that or whatnot. You can make them as long as you want, however, and um, so you could be able to uh, keep it longer or whatever. Um, what you wanna do after you get your tissue is get your deodorant, Rub your deodorant all over it. You just want to go over it once or twice, you know. And then you want to get it after that and roll it up. We used to use these things to uh, make crosses and uh, do some of our, our uh, art projects while we were in there. Um, we don't get very much to do that kind of stuff so kind of sucks but you want to get it and roll it up and get that thing really really tight you'll have some tears in it like that but you could just roll it up it still still work the same And you just want to make it real tight. Just keep on spinning it like so. And it'll start getting tighter and tighter. And you want to do that until you get it really tight. Because uh, the tighter the wick, the better. Um, the, long, the longer it'll last anyway. Um, they're usually all the same. Come out okay. So uh, check it out now. That's your wick. You'll have your wick there. And then what you want to do next is you want to grab your jailhouse lighter. Um, I put some modifications on it. See, I still got my one blade, my other two half blades. But what I did here is. I got some of the back of the deodorant from the label, cut off a little piece, made some tape out of it to hold those blades on there because I'm going to have to uh, light this wick with one hand. So uh, you guys got to see that right there. So you want to get your uh, everything all set up. You'll get your long blade, short blade. You want to hold that one with your finger, hold them, balance them out. Nah, this is a little trick, but it still lights up. Still get the same same effects going. Get your spark, get your jailhouse lighter lit, and then you could light your uh, wick with it. And 
there you go you have your wick this thing right here will last a long time um, it'll probably burn for like a half an hour or so um, the tighter the tighter you twist it the better the wick though like I was saying um, we would use it to burn the ends of our uh, necklaces and things like that um, another one of my viewers wanted me to show um, how we do that so um, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Ray D underscore S cow um, he asked me to uh, show him how to make one of these and uh, when you're jailhouse lighter you know if you only have two batteries um, using a wick will last a whole lot longer and uh, you could do a lot of things with it um, there you go thanks for watching like comment subscribe you guys have a wonderful day out there and remember be safe um, be careful and keep an eye out when well.